What's up guys, it's your boy Kool Man 100 x how you guys doing? Welcome to the Red Sea, what's going on? <laughs> Before we jump to the video, make sure you visit the ebook store, link will be in the description below to go to my website to get the ebook for the Red Sea offense and other ebooks that's available as well. And also if you want to stay up to date with Kool Man 100 x your boy, all the links will be in the description below. So we're going to be going over the gun bunch again out of the Jets offensive playbook. The play we're going to be looking at is called Corner Out Dig. All right. Let's look at this a little bit deeper. I'll come on and cover four. So, um, you can actually run this play stock. It's pretty much difficult to run this play because the stock version is kind of weird, so you got to add a little bit of creativity to it. Me personally, the stock route is cool because um, you can't motion inside. The only thing you can motion inside is him here to make it a little bit more of a corner bunch situation. So what I like to do this is like put him in a motion in and I like to put him in a post route, put square, put triangle on the drag, put X here, cause you got the post in the corner. So I like to put him on the corner route here. So I like to put R1 in a post, then I like to put him on a zig. So it'll be set up just like this play here. So as you can see here, this opens up the right side of the field, just like I said in the previous video, you want to go put up to left to right. So in this situation here, we want to slide protect left and we got a nice little blocking. So the shield opens up R1, as you can see there. So let's take a look at the play real quick. Could get the ball up, but I can show you who's open. So as you see here, your safe down is going to be him here. Your safe check down is going to be him with the table route here. So now you got the post rock going in the middle of the field. So this opens up the post here for the right side because you open up left to right. So now they have to choose which one to guard. So man, you got one to guard, so you don't know which one to guard. You got him wide open on the inside positioning. Then you got him open on the inside post too as well. And then you got the out route for the corner route here. Then you got the zig route automatically open for a nice five. So you get you one on one across the middle of the field. So now this opens up a little bit more to play here. So. Once again, you want to motion him inside. You want to put him in a post here, right? You want to put R, you want to put X in a post here. And you got this situation here in this situation. Now you want to put him on a post and then put R1 on a post to the left. Then you want to put a circle and a zig down. Then you want to put triangle here. So this is how it's supposed to be set up. Sorry about that. So this is how it's supposed to be set up. You want to put triangle on that table route here. So I'm going to try to hit R1, but I'm going to be looking for Kelsey on the right side and the zig, zig route. So let's check and see who we can hit really quick, which will probably be him going across the middle of the field for a nice rat catch <laughs> in this situation. Once again, you're going from left to right. So now you attacking both sides of the field with this play. So now I'm like, okay, I don't want to force this table out. I don't want, I don't want this table out. That's going to be my first check now, regardless. I got the inside position. Somebody's going to cross up. They got to choose which one to go for. So now they double covering the post here. So now I got one-on-one -on -one coverage with him, or I can throw to Kelsey because Kelsey already out there. So Kelsey is the one out there. Just like I said, I got my zig route here. <laughs> So now I got my check down for all my players too to run that play. So, so let's say if we want to motion out Kelsey, there's another adjustment here. We want to motion out Scantling, which is circle. We want to put him in a post route here. We want to put X in a drag, and we want to put a triangle in a Texas, and we want to put him in a post. So in this situation, you have two post routes, but you don't want this type of house set up here because you don't want them to cross. So what I like to do here is put him in a slant. So it'll be set up like this. That way the slant to beat the Texas before the Texas get there. <laughs> so in other words, Kelsey is going to be having one on one. We're going to have two out routes to the right and we got a motion for the post. So in case they open in the middle, the drag could be open here so I can pass the up, open up the drag. Go right catch that up the field. So let's take a look at this and break it down. So now. I got my Texas, right? But I just said I got Kelsey going across the middle of the field. They have to give up something to guard. So now they choose to guard the Texas route. So the Texas route is attacking the right side of the field. As you can see, the motion of the field, everybody's guarding to the right, which leaves Kelsey one-on-one. -on -one. 
with either the corner, linebacker, or safety. That opens up that situation. But let's say if you want to force it right, you got the underneath throw, which opens up your route a little bit more to that out route. Then if you wait a little bit longer for this post, it actually opens up the post here as well. So that gives you a chance to actually utilize where you want to open up the post at. <laughs> so there you go. And that's your other adjustment. The next adjustment that you want to do, if you want to motion scantling over, motion him over to keep that route that you want, because I like this route here, open that route up. Put X in the zig here, right? Put him in a post, right? So this actually gives you a flood concept. So now you want to put him on a table route. Just like I said, for the same instance, you have everybody attacking to the right side, which are open up the left side. They have to choose which one to guard. So in this instance, we want to slap and take left and see what we get. We got the table route and we got the post route wide open in there. So let's break it down. So that post route to be open, I just threw it too soon. <laughs> so yeah. So now, just like I said, they have to attack the left side of the field. So who are they choosing to attack first? So now the left side of the field is not guarded as much. The right side is not guarded. So now if I would have waited on that table route just a little bit longer to get past that linebacker, he would have been here. I would have been able to throw here. That zig route is going to be open regardless. That Nobody can guard. So your first check down to be the zig route. They guard both of the players deep. So they gave up both of the players deep. So my best check down would have been that zig route. So let's go over it again. So we want to keep him on that table route here, scantling here. We want to keep him on this. Then we want to open up and put X on the zig. Then we want to put a square on a post. And we want to put a triangle on a zig route. Table route, I'm sorry. So this is going to open up the play. So when they're guarding deep, we want to go to our check downs. If we're playing seriously, he should be open every time. So just leave Kelsey wide open with a one-on-one -on -one situation. <laughs> So now every time that zig route is going to be open, you'll be able to get yards regardless on this play. So as you can see here, now they're guarding heavy on the right side. So the reason I say why they're guarding on the left side, because you got one, two, three, four players guarding on the right side. And you only got one, two, three over here. You got three players guarding on the left side. So. If you're looking at Mahomes' view as the quarterback, who is the most dynamic on the field that will actually torture a person on defense or user that you can use? It's Kelsey. So I attack what's going. So now I'm guarding the heavier side. But knowing that I know I got Kelsey that automatically beats him. So when he stutter steps like this, as you can see here, he stuttered. He didn't know Kelsey was going to the outside like that. So they get Kelsey a little bit. And the more he runs, the more he extends with the rat catch. Look how many yards you get. So that opens up that situation. So, so we're gonna go to motion Kelsey. This is the next adjustment. We wanna motion Kelsey over. Let's put Kelsey on the line here. So we wanna put him here. So you don't have the option to put any zig routes and nothing like that. But you do have the option to put this play here. You wanna put a corner. You wanna put the square and a post. You wanna put a triangle and a table route here. Now, Look how this play is set up. <laughs> so now they have to pick and choose if they're going to the outside with two plays and the underneath. So you got this type of dynamic situation. So let's slide protect the right. Let's see what's cracking. So we got X. He guards the table route underneath. So let's try one more time. See if I can get a safe catch here. So what you want to do is motion him out. Put him in a corner. Put square in the post. Put him in the play. He got this set up here. So now you want to look from left to right. So who's open him? I want to pass underneath. Bam, he overthrew it. Try one more time. Overthrowing these passes like crazy today. <laughs> X here. Bam. So it should be set up like this. I want to go for circle because he's going to go for that table right here. So bam, that's where we want to go. <laughs> so just to give you a neat technique about this. Um, just like I said, now you're attacking both sides of the field. So nobody's in the middle of the field, but you actually got somebody coming in the middle of the field because you got this post route. So if you wait on this post route, psh, he'll be open 90% of the time. Then you got the out route with the tight end. He has to give up something, right? They have to give up something. So just like I said, you got what? One, two, three, four people guarding on the right. Then you got three over here, but you got two of your most dynamic players here. So now you got Scantling 
he got harm into your fastest players on the right side of the field. So whoever catch this, bam, they can take off down the field as much as they can. So, I hope you enjoyed this tip. I have a gun bunch play out of the Jets offensive playbook, which is corner out dig. So, I hope you enjoy. I'm out of here, guys. Deuces.